I'm Simon Faithful. I'm an artist and I've been having a residency here in the Naturkunde Museum, the Natural History Museum. What I've been looking at and researching whilst I've been here is how science tries to divide and subdivide and classify and name within more and more precise ways this incredibly expansive continuum of life. I've always been fascinated by birds. I've been making drawings since the year 2000 using a digital device. So I make these little sketches and there's a few themes that have just accidentally emerged. And one is birds. I keep on coming back to birds. They have something quite alien about them, but they're kind of like a parallel species to us within our cities, particularly. And they're the sort of the one bit of wildlife that actually we do share our space with, at least visually. And yet, they're not mammals, and it makes perfect sense to me that they're descended from dinosaurs. They're sort of mutated dinosaurs. I've been drawing more birds here but also getting very interested in the taxonomies. So I'm going to be making an installation called an arbitrary taxonomy of birds. And they're my own completely subjective ways of grouping birds together. So the first one you're going to encounter is those that became red. The next one is those that would fit on my palm. Then the next one is those that cross 13 degrees east and more absurd categories like those that hang upside down but are not birds. And the curator of the bats really liked that suggestion because often members of the public are really surprised that bats are not birds. And then those that didn't hatch, so a collection of eggs, those that forgot to fly, Another of the categories is those that transmit avian flu. Trying to think about contagious cities and this collection, it was important to point out that of all these animals, the one that is actually the threat to us is the most domestic, normal, on your egg box that you get from the corner shop bird. The Brook and Sala looks down onto the main hall of dinosaur skeletons. So we're using a window and blocking off most of it and just leaving a sort of porthole and written on that porthole will be those that became birds. There are two further ones. One is those that no longer live. And then one further category is going to be an empty vitrine and that is those that are unknown to science. Very nicely for me, the exhibitions department loved the idea and decided to give me one of the huge empty halls. And that has four long glass vitrines, each of which will be one of my categories, one of my arbitrary non-taxonomical taxonomies. I think art and culture is how we digest things and bring them into a kind of like a deep understanding of what's happening. I think the role of an artist being there is not that they could help the scientists to make their work or understand things in a different way. It's about chewing over and embedding within a sort of deeper, broader consciousness some of the world that's being revealed by science. Mm -hmm.